so guys i hope you all are doing great now guys a lot of you guys know this entertainer by the name of sugar minot now his daughter you know is fear for her life and saying that to you know chase off material things you know it's not worth it and so she feel as if she should back down from whatever is causing her to feel you know uncomfortable now guys i want you to check it out leave your comments down below as she express her feelings and how she's feeling towards you know whatever she's facing right now hey guys welcome to nikita jamaica where you get the best and the latest comedy and drama and entertainment if you have not yet subscribed please do so thank you I don't even know where to begin, but daddy, say sugar my nut to my last breath. But sometimes, sometimes you have to walk away. Sometimes you have to walk away for your peace and your sanity. And at the end of the day, material things don't even matter. It don't matter. Everything, the fight, and everything. It, the. You know, sometimes people say, "Don't come on social media with your problems and certain things." But at the same time, managa meant nobody kill me in silence. So on Tuesday, January 9th, I drove in with some friends, and I saw my picture vandalized. Yeah, by Maxine Stowe's son Rashim, and honestly, me they feel some type of way about it because you know we're trying to fix the property, whether the murals or whatever. Um, this brother of mine was born and raised in America, and over the years, his peer bullying gone. And we keep quiet about it, especially me. I was physically abused, physically hit over the years, three different times. I'm all it, yeah? I'm all it. And when I come and I see my picture like that, Virgin them tell me, say, just hold it. I'm all it. The same day I was called all kind of names, the worst names in the book. I'm a whole it. And at the first, me really a whole it like that because normally, you know, from you say A, me say B. But 2024 is a new year, and I'm like, you know what? I more want the family to come together. I've been fighting for that, and it's just not working out. But at the same time, I'm not making nobody kill me. The following day, I was advised to report it because I was threatened the Tuesday, January 9th. So the Wednesday, I reported it. The police came here and they spoke to. Rashim and tell him to you know why him do it him don't have a reason they're just my existence is what is bothering everybody I was told not to come to the compound listen people I was born and raised here born left the hospital and come right here I was raised here I don't know what the problem is and the police warned him about painting back the murals or whatever find him saying not paying for it i have to sue him for it i'm not going to go into no court to sue my sibling over no painting now i came here today we brought some friends who are visiting from america they wanted to see the studio and whatever when i come now and i go into the studio people i have a big picture that is framed around here with me and daddy and uh, queen africa is on the picture it's destroyed all my pictures torn down so even after the painting situation i'm gonna just leave it like that everything is torn down and my sister today ashanti she was <laughs> that's what i may tell you hit and i was pushed physically i may tell you people it is so sad and i know that if daddy was here this could have never happened in a million years and trust me I want to hold it for my father certain things, but honestly, this 
you know, sometimes you have to walk away. The more we try to fix up, the more we try to do anything, it's just not working out. And if things get physical, things already get physical, you understand? So we went back to the police station today, and my sister ended up nobody even pressed the charge because we're not about that. You understand? But people, they rough. I tell you, true people. Yeah, man.